I'm Lynn Belisle. I'm an aromatherapist and I teach um, people about the wonderful benefits of essential oils. Uh, a lot of times it's a little intimidating, but I'm going to show you a really easy way to use essential oils to relax yourself or to, uh, to help out a client or a friend. And uh, what we're going to do is make some bath salts that are very relaxing. And to do that, we're going to use Epsom salts. Now, if you've ever had sore muscles, you know that Epsom salts are prescribed for um, soaking away aches and pains. So, first of all, this is a really good base to start with. Even if you just use the Epsom salts by themselves, it would be beneficial. But we're going to use essential oils as an addition, and the one I've chosen is eucalyptus. Um, it's not an expensive oil, and it's very good for respiratory ailments, but also for muscle relief. And it's a good mental stimulant, too. So these um, bath salts that we're going to make are going to be something that will both stimulate, relax you, and clear your mind all at the same time. <clears throat> we start with a cup of Epsom salts, and you can get these at the grocery store or the pharmacy. And the only things you'll need are a plastic bag, a measuring cup, and a little grocery bag along with your essential oil. So we're going to take a cup of the Epsom salts, and this is approximate, but a cup will make enough for two baths. And we're going to put it into our mixing bag, which is just a large gallon size baggie. And get all the lumps out. And just wish it with your hands. And then we're going to add the essential oil. As I said, I've chosen eucalyptus for this for its stimulating properties and its cleansing properties and the idea that um, it will um, help your sore muscles. If you were making some for relaxation, you'd probably choose lavender or bergamot or chamomile, but the essential oil adds to the healing properties of the salts, the soaking salts. Now with one cup you probably want to add about 10 drops of your essential oil. Remember that when you're working with essential oils you always dilute. So we're going to open up the bag and add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and I can smell those already. When you use essential oils, remember that they're volatile and so the molecules will rise up from the bottle, get into the air and into the salt, and you can smell them right away. I'm going to mix these up. You can just shake it if you want to. If you want to get really fancy, you can put a drop of food coloring in. And now that you have it mixed and the essential oil has been incorporated into the carrier medium, in this case it's not a, a carrier oil, it's a carrier medium, Epsom salt, we're going to take the lunch bag and open it up. And we'll pour some of this into the bag. Probably we, we can put a whole cup in there. You might want to split it into it. We'll just go ahead and put the whole thing in. So be careful as you pour. You don't want it going all over the place. Put the neck of the plastic bag inside of the neck of the grocery bag and just shake it out. There we go. Okay. Once you have it in the grocery bag, the lunch bag, you're going to tap it down so that it sits flat on the table like this. And you're going to wrap it a special way. First of all, you want to fold the corner down at a right angle into a triangle like this. Increase it really well. Okay. When you have that triangle, then you're going to take this point and fold it back. So you're just kind of making a little envelope out of it. Increase that really well. Wish you could smell this. It smells wonderful. It's really waking me up. Then you're going to take the whole thing and fold it over. The point's going to come loose a little bit, but that's all right. And as you fold it, fold the point down like this and keep folding until it turns over into a little flat packet. And at that point, you can just tie it up, tape it, or if you want to get fancy, you can get some special paper. This kind of looks like eucalyptus to me. Fold it around the packet and then get some raffia or whatever you choose to tie it with. And then just tie it up. So you'd wrap it around this way and then wrap it around this way and one more time around and tie it. And again, this would make a lovely gift for a client or a friend. And then you probably take some little trim. If you have eucalyptus leaves, that would be wonderful. But there it is. And actually this little packet 
besides being therapeutic, is really economical. Grocery bags, little lunch bags like this, you can get 50 for a dollar. Uh, you can collect dried botanical leaves, and the Epsom salts are only a few dollars a bag, and you can make many, many of these little packets. You can put them, if you're a massage therapist, you can put them between your towels in your massage therapy studio, and they'll act as a sachet. And if you want the benefits of Epsom salts with you all the time, even when you can't take a bath, you can put some of the salts into a little pill bottle like this and add your essential oils. This is lavender for stress, as you can see. And when you need to have a little bit of an instant calm down, just take a whiff, and you have both the salts and the oils. So I hope this has been helpful to you. Remember, you've got lunch bags, Epsom salts, and essential oils. And um, I hope you enjoyed the demonstration. Thanks.